Hey guys, welcome back, Bolt Spider here. I just woke up, so I'm a little late to the, the news, and we have the pure re archetype. Now, before we get into the, all of these, they are level one mon or a level one monster with rank two monsters. But before we get into anything, if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe as only 88.3% of you guys aren't subscribed. So let's get that up a little more so we can have a thousand subs by the end of the year. So we have meet the pure puri archetype. It is it's like Eevee, but not Eevee. We have a level one light fairy monster. So Ava's banned, so we can't really utilize that. But that's absolutely fine. But we can utilize things like uh, Herald of the Orange Light. Okay, let's see. If this card is normal or special summon, you can excavate the top three cards of your deck. You can add one excavated purely spell or trap card to your hand and place the rest on the bottom of the deck in any order so it's a pot of duality but it doesn't lock you into anything once per turn you can reveal one puri quick play spell in your hand and if you do special summon one exceed monster that mentions it from your extra deck using this face-up card you control as material this is treated as an exceed summon and if you do attach the revealed card to it as a material so the summon effect isn't a hard once per turn. That's actually very good. The second effect, though, that's actually very good because it gets to all your all your exceeds for free. And it is all based off of this, so it's technically Eevee. Next up, we have e Puri Happiness. It's a rank 2, light fairy, 2,000 attack, 100 defense. It takes two level 2 monsters. If this card battles at the end of the damage step, you can add one Puri card from your deck to your hand. Also, if this card has Puri Happy Memories as material, you can make the attack of one face-up monster on the field become halved. So that would be this Exceed monster. Okay. And thrice per turn when you activate a Puri Quick Play spell card effect, you can attach that card on the field to it to this card as a material. Then you can return one spell and trap card to your opponent controls to the hand. So this card outs things like anti-spell. That's going to be very useful. Uh, yeah, that's going to be very useful. Next up we have Epiri Beauty. It is a rank 2 water. Light water and 14, 15, 16... 17. We're missing another X seed. So this one's also two level two monsters, 1600, 1100. Once per turn, you can target one effect to monster your opponent controls. Its effects are negated until the end of the turn. This is a quick effect if this card has pure, pretty memory as a material. Thrice per turn. When you activate a pure quick play spell card, a, a quick effect. You can attach that card on the field to this card as a material. Then you can change one mo opponent's monster battle position. So this is looking like a three of. This is looking like a one or two of. And this is Epiri Plump. It is the Earth Fairy version. 200 attack, 2100 defense. Two level two monsters. So technically you can run these with Sprite. Once per turn, you can target up to two spell and trap cards in the graveyard. Attach them to this card as a material. This is a quick effect if this card has Puri Delicious Memories. So that would be one of these spell... Oh my lord, there's so many cards. Thrice per turn, when you activate a Puri Quick Play spell card, quick effect, you can attach that card on the field to this card as a material. Then you can banish one monster on the field until the end, of, until the end phase. That's that's all right. Then we have Xperi Happiness. It's a rank seven, twenty five hundred attack, eleven hundred defense, two level seven monsters. You can also exceed some of this card by using a rank two monster you control with five or more materials. Transfer materials to this card. Okay. So it's a guy of dragon the thunder charger. Interesting. 
During your main phase, you can detach one material from this card, and if you do, negate the effects of all face-up monsters your opponent currently controls until the end of the turn. Okay, and if this card has a level 1 Puri monster as material, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to this card's activation. So, this is a Dark Rule of No More on legs, and also... This means we're going to get more of these level 1s. That's going to be very interesting when we do. And when this, when an attack is declared involving this card with 5 or more materials, inflict 1,500 damage to your opponent. That could have been something else. That could have been way better. That could definitely have been something else other than burning your opponent. Okay, we have Stray Puri Street. Your opponent cannot target Puri or Puri monsters you control with card effects the turn that they were special summoned. Hand Trap Protection from Valor Imperm. That's pretty good. Once per turn, if a face up Puri Exceed monster you control is revealed by your opponent's card effect, special summon one level one Puri monster from your deck or graveyard. Shit, I'm gonna. That's actually very good. During each end phase, you can target one Puri Exceed monster on the field, attach one Puri's quick play spell card from your deck or graveyard to it as a material. This archetype is looking very fun. Next up we have Puri, my friend. It's a continuous spell guard. You can only use the first, second effect of this card's name once per turn each. You can pay 500. Reveal three Puri cards from your deck, except another copy of this card. And if you do, your opponent randomly picks one for you to add to the hand and also shuffle the rest back to the deck. So it's a power tool dragon for the deck. That's actually very good. If it face up Puri Exceed Monster, you control leaves the field by opponent's card effect. Even during the damage step, you can add up to three Puri Quick Play spell cards with different names from your graveyard to your Oh my lord, the card advantage is real. Next up we have Puri Happy Memory. Apply one of the Apply this effect to one card on the field until the end of the next turn. Then you can discard one card. And if you do, special summon one level 1 Puri monster from your deck. Once applied, the next time that this card would be destroyed by a card effect, it is not destroyed. So, this just chains to Lightning Storm. Or Dark Road No More, or anything. That's, that's very good. A Puri X Seed monster that has this card as a material gains this effect. This card can attack monsters a number of times each battle phase up to the number of Puri Happy Memories attached to it, plus one. So you're getting the two attacks. Okay. Oh, okay. These these artworks are so adorable. So adorable. Puri Pretty Memory. Quick play spell. Each player gains 1,000 life points if you discard one card, and if you do, special summon one level one Puri monster from your deck. Huh? <laughs> that's just an Italy with a little cost. But that's fine because with this card up here, you're just recycling everything back. Or this card here, you're just recycling things you're just recycling things back with this one. And then let's see. A Puri Exceed monster that has this card as a material gains this effect. Once per turn, you can send one other card you control to the graveyard. Then target one card your opponent controls, attach it to this card as a material. What? Uh, that's just... That's just, um... Infinity. That's very good. I wonder if there's one that's a negate. Let's see here. Delicious Memory is so adorable. Make one monster on the field unable to be destroyed by battle until the end of the next turn. So, this card cannot be destroyed by battle until the end of this turn, or until the end of your opponent's turn. Then, you could discard one card, and if you do, special summon one level 1 Puri monster from your deck. A purely Puri Exceed monster that has this card as a material gains this effect. Gain 300 attack and defense for each material attached to this card. Um, this... 
I feel like all their cards are just e -tellies. Well, three of their, four of their cards are e -tellies. So that's very good. And we have Puri Yeep, or Puri Leap. It is a normal shot card. Target one Puri Exceed monster you control. Special summon one Puri Exceed monster with a different rank from your extra deck by using it as material, but return the summoned monster to the extra deck during the end phase of the next turn. This card is this is treated as an Exceed summon. Transfer it as a material. Transfer its materials to the sun. Okay, so this is just a trap card version of quick of um, of just ranking up. Cool. You can banish this card from the graveyard, then target up to three Puri monsters in your graveyard, shuffle them into the deck. No draw? That's weird. But, yeah, this is actually pretty good. And when you have Exceed Tribal Rivals as a reprint, um, I forgot what this card does. Face up Exceed monsters on the field with two or more Exceed materials cannot be destroyed by card effects. After damage calculation, if this Exceed monster you control battles an opponent's monster, destroy that opponent's monster Okay, that Exceed Monster must have two or more Exceed Materials attached to activate and resolve this effect. Okay. So, overall, what do I think of Kiri? They are an interesting deck. I definitely need to see the rest of the support, which is the one card. On top of what future support there is, I'm definitely going to be tinkering around with this deck because this is such an adorable deck and I really love it. I've been waiting for this deck ever since it was announced. And I'm actually extremely happy of what gimmick they have, which is just quick play spells as additional effects. And most of the deck is E-Telly, and just getting out this little guy right here, which is so adorable, and I think I'm going to use it as part of the thumbnail. But anyways, I've been Bolt Spider. I hope you guys did enjoy, and see you guys in the next video.